You know, sometimes people accuse GAFCON of being homophobic. It's a pretty big word and a pretty strong accusation. The word phobia, of course, is a fear, and it's an unreasonable, unnatural, and in the end, immoral fear of the other, in this case of uh, people with same-sex attraction, the fear and the, uh, the way in which that works itself out, perhaps sometimes in violence, but in vilification and so forth. It's, it's an ugly thing. And no doubt, uh, we're all sinful people, no doubt there is. Sometimes that accusation can be levelled against all of us, one way or another, homophobia. But it's not the biblical way. In the Bible, there's a wonderful sentence that says, perfect love casts out fear. And we're called upon to love. We're called upon to love our neighbours. We're called upon to love our neighbours because we, sinners that we are, we have been loved by the grace of God. That's who we are. We're the ones who have been loved. And therefore, that love will cast out fear. But it doesn't mean we'll necessarily agree. On the other hand, uh, we've got to uh, look at what the Bible says and what God says in the Bible about what makes for human flourishing. And in the Bible, it tells us we are to be chaste. Uh, we are to live in accordance with God's rules and laws and that uh, sexual intercourse is, is something precious, but it's really made for marriage. And that's a summons to all of us. It can be hard. And so it's not a matter, you see, of fear. It's a matter of saying, we do love you, but we want to make sure that in our love for you and for all, that we express what the Word of God says and that we explain how God's word is intended for our good. That's what we should be saying, and I hope we say it in a way which is loving and true.